The Honorable Councilor Narmam, Zeb Sheikh, Cameron Bailey, Kiran Rao, all the distinguished guests present here. It's very hectic. Thank you, sir. I would now like to invite Mr. Zeb Sheikh, Toronto Film Commissioner and Director of Entertainment Industry. Toronto. Uh, warm wishes, and he's really looking forward to visiting Maharashtra and India before his term is over. And I actually bring a direct quote from Councillor Michael Thompson, who's the Chair of Economic Development and Culture uh, at the City of Toronto, and who's been a, a real force in focusing Toronto's interests, business interests, on a creative level and others um, towards Maharashtra and Mumbai. Uh, Councillor Michael Thompson says, this agreement represents the dawn of a new era in collaboration between two of the world's great films. introduce the second segment of tonight's program. First, I'm going to call on a friend and a man I admire greatly, Cameron Bailey, the artistic director of the Toronto International Film Festival. Thank you, Anu. Good evening, everyone. First, I want to say thank you to Premier Kathleen Wynne, the Government of Ontario, the State of Maharashtra Film City and the Mumbai Academy of the Moving Image for hosting this event. It's an honor for me to be here back in Mumbai, especially to witness this signing uh, between Mr. Sheikh and Ms. Singh, the Toronto Maharashtra Memorandum of Understanding. Thanks also to the ministers. Thanks also to the ministers of international trade, Michael Chan, and economic development, Brad Duguid. Rita Nankoliar of the Consulate General of uh, Canada in Mumbai, Maharashtra Minister Taude, uh, and all of you for joining us. You know, I've been lucky enough to travel from Toronto to Mumbai at least once a year, sometimes two or three times for the past 10 years, and I've found over that time that we have a lot in common. We're crazy for movies, you're crazy for movies. You have an incredibly diverse population in this city, so do we. You complain about the traffic. Thank you for coming down to South Bombay, by the way, if you're not living here. For us, it's the winters, although we've been known to also complain about the traffic in Toronto. Nothing like getting from Bandra to here, though. <laughs> Toronto's home to over 70 film festivals. We may be the biggest at TIFF, but we're only one of a wildly diverse group of festivals. That passion for movies in Ontario's capital grew out of two things, people and investment. We're next door to the United States, but we want more than just what Hollywood can give us. We value education and innovation and the widest possible variety of perspectives. We want to see the best ideas and the best stories the world has to offer, so we go to the movies. Over the past several decades, both the public and private sectors have seen the value of that. Their investment has led to more film productions from all over the world shooting in Ontario taking advantage of our locations and our skilled crews. In fact, you know, there are two films that are nominated for Academy Awards this year, Spotlight and Room, that were both shot in Toronto, in the Toronto area. Room, in fact, is a Canadian co-production. Spotlight made tremendous use of locations uh, around Ontario. There is a uh, Pinewood studio in Toronto, that world-famous uh, studios that produces the uh, James Bond movies, that shoots them, has a op large operation in Toronto. IMAX is a technology born in Canada and headquartered in Mississauga, Ontario. And TIFF is lucky enough to be based there as well. We've grown from a small film festival 40 years ago to a year-round operation today based in our cinema complex, TIFF Bell Lightbox. And I hear there are plans to build something similar here in Mumbai. Fingers crossed. 
In addition to all the screenings, events, and education programs we present in Toronto with the Lightbox, we're also touring exhibitions like our Digi Play Space for Children, which is currently in Beijing, and our David Cronenberg exhibition, which opens later this month in Prague. India has always been important to us. For me, this country, this state, and this city are the epicenter of passion for cinema. We've been fortunate enough to welcome stars like Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, Amir Khan, Priyanka Chopra, Shah Rukh Khan, Sri Devi, Irfan Khan, and many others to the Toronto International Film Festival. We presented impressive films by directors like Kiran Rao, whose Dobi Ghat premiered in Toronto. Go ahead and clap. Ritesh Batra, who presented The Lunchbox there, and Anirag Kashyap, who's presented a number of films at our festival. Four years ago, we curated a special spotlight on Mumbai's new generation of independent filmmakers in Toronto. In 2011, we partnered with the International Indian Film Academy, IFA, to present the Golden Age of Indian Cinema, a tribute event, and a retrospective series on Raj Kapoor. And yes, definitely <laughs> applause for Raj Kapoor. And through our year-round TIFF Cinematheque program, we've also celebrated the work of master filmmaker Satyajit Ray and a number of other Indian filmmakers. Today, we're pleased to announce that we've begun an exciting relationship with the Mumbai Film Festival, MAMI, which continues to grow and evolve. In February last year, we came to Mumbai to offer a series of workshops to share our experience and insights to discuss challenges of putting on film festivals in big cities, and to help our colleagues here continue to build upon a film festival that celebrates international cinema. In Toronto, we consider that to be a big city. I know it's nothing compared to Mumbai, but for us, it's a big city. Earlier today, we offered a filmmaker's boot camp and shared the skills required to make the most of their filmmaker's experience at international film festivals and markets. And later on this year, a representative from MAMI will spend time embedded at our festival with our team Again, sharing experience and, a way, uh, and ways of collaborating. One of my favorite things about all of these, these uh, examples of partnership is just that exchange of ideas that comes as a result. And that's really why we're here. Trading ideas, learning from each other, offering what we can, and drawing inspiration from the artists and the business people we meet here. It comes right down to the people. Anupama Chopra, Kiran Rao, Smirti Kiran, and the MAMI team are just impressive people. We want to work with them. We're glad to be deepening our relationship and glad that we're here with Ontario and Maharashtra to celebrate that. Once again, I'd like to extend my sincerest thanks to Premier Wynne, to the VIPs and dignitaries here today for making all of this possible, and to all of you for coming. Thanks very much. Person of the GeoMAMI Mumbai Film Festival with STAR. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Maharashtra in Mumbai, Premier Win. So nice to have you. Uh, good evening, Tawri Saab, uh, Mr. Sheikh, Walsa, my friends on the stage, Cameron and Ranveer. Um, I'm so happy to be here to represent GeoMami, uh, a festival that was started, well, now 18 years ago. But uh, Anupama and I uh, sort of came on board about a year and something ago when the festival was in. Uh, fairly difficult uh, position and it was then when we had no real idea how we would get this festival up and running, how to run a festival. Uh, she's a film critic, I'm a filmmaker and we didn't really have the chops to do it. Uh, we, uh, we had the great fortune of having this wonderful, generous offer of support from the Toronto International Film Festival and to be very, very honest ladies and gentlemen, without that one, uh, that two-day little workshop that Cameron and Natalie did with us, I think we would really be way back where we started not knowing how to do anything. So uh, this is really what Toronto is about. I mean, it really told me that this is a city that extends such warmth and generosity, and uh, they opened themselves up to us and gave us so much of their uh, knowledge and their expertise in running a world-class film festival now for 40 years that it made us feel so much more reassured and felt like we could do it. So we're really very, very happy to take forward this collaboration between uh, the Toronto International Film Festival and us. As Cameron said, we are both film mad cities. And as he also said, I had my one and only my first film premiered there. 
and it was one of the best experiences of my life. I can only say that I hope that this collaboration continues, that we can offer Toronto as much support as they have been giving us for this past year. We were very fortunate to have Cameron on our jury uh, in our very first year uh, helming the festival. And uh, we recently, today, had this boot camp. And I'm sure we'll have many, many op more opportunities to actually work together and make this a very fruitful partnership. Thank you. I second everything Kiran just said. <laughs> and now I'm going to call on one of India's most exciting actors, Ranveer Singh. Ranveer was in Toronto for the IFA Awards in 2011. He's going to tell us about the Canadian film industry and the possibilities for cooperation.